Right, there's um, basically what I've done here is I've copied the entire contents of the disk onto my desktop, which is there in a folder called Champ Man. Um, we open up that folder there. There's the install instructions there, which I've put on, so you can all have a read through and should take you step by step. As you read the instructions, the first thing you do is you've got to set up Magic Disk. So you double click that there. Magic Disk installs. Just go through all that. Just keep clicking next. Let it install. Once this is installed, um, you'll see down on, if you just follow my icon here, you'll see down on the, the bottom right of your toolbar. That it put it's now put a little little thing there, it's like a hand holding a CD, it says Magic ISO Virtual CD DVD Manager. Now once you've installed it, it does ask you to restart the system. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that. So once you've restarted your system, you go back again, bring up your Champman folder, open it up, and get on to you've got the CM0102. Now that's the game, and that's an ISO and that's why you need the magic disk so you go to your magic disk right click it brings up this menu up to virtual cd-rom just just left click on that and it'll bring up mount now mine's already there because I've already used it but what you may have to you may have to go looking for it but if it's on your desktop just click your bring up all your desktop documents champ man there it is and click open now that will then bring up choose setup language, click English, and it'll start installing the game. Now I've already done it, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh, but it should be all pretty self-explanatory. Once the game's installed, you'll get some extra icons, possibly on your desktop if you ask them. Now I've I've not asked for the the item the or have I? <laughs> I may have it on there, but basically it'll bob up the icon. Oh, there it is. It's just there. So it'll put an icon on your desktop so you know the game's installed. Now you don't need to do anything with that yet. Next you want to go into this step 4 which is 242. Now you double click that and it'll do a WinZip self extractor and it, it's just basically extracting all the details, all the information that you need. Um, like I say, I mean this is something I've already done but I'm, I'm doing it again, it does no harm doing it twice. So I'll just give that a few, a few seconds to update. Hopefully it'll be done pretty quickly. Okay, now then it'll bring up this, you just keep clicking next, update the system, and this is just updating some of the files in there, this is not the game update, now this is not transferring all the files, updating the um, updating the players, this is not that, but this is, this is just a little update that you need to do. Now when you've done all that, bring up a little readme, but you don't need to read that, just close that down, then get into the game update. Now, hopefully, you should have uh, an application to open these WinZip files. If not, just Google WinZip um, free download or WinRAR free download. Any one of those will do this. Uh, there's a couple of links in the help, um, but you should be able to find it just from Googling. Now, when you open that, there you go. There are all the files. Now, you need I've unzipped them, so they're all there. Now, what I'm going to do here, which seems to be a bit of a problem for a couple of people, is show you what you, where you put all these files. When you've got all these files, you just highlight them all, like so, and then what you can do then is go into my computer, open up your C drive, program files, and in C drive and your program files you'll find Championship Manager 01-02. Open that, got a whole load more folders there, the folder you want is data, open the data. Now when you've got all that open, you just sit that there, bring back your WinZip, and what you want it, what you want to do is once you've highlighted all those is oh sorry let's get them all highlighted again highlight all those you don't need the folder now a simple way to do it just to make sure you get it right is perhaps to put another another folder on your desktop sorry if I'm going too quick you can always re you know go back and watch this again so put a new folder on your desktop just say Call that 
I'm a chap for now. <laughs> okay, so there's a nice blank folder. So you get your WinZip, get all those there, and you should be able to click Extract To. Um, it's put your folder there, so you can do New Folder. So you've got a new folder. I hope you're following this because it'll vary from different things. Desktop. Okay, and on your desktop, there's there's chat. There's the folder I've just created. Okay, and now it's unzipping all of those, and popping them into, populating them into this folder. Now, when it's done all that, what you want to do is bring back that. I'll just take you back there to help you out. You know, we went into the program files, Championship Manager 02, data, and then you've got a load of files there. Now, what you've just populated into that new folder on your desktop, you want to select all those and drag and drop them into there. Now, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, but you just drag and drop them into there, and it should say to you, um, do you want to replace existing file? Yes, you replace all existing files. So, anytime it says, do you want to replace them, it means you're doing something good, so just click yes, replace all. And when you've done all that, you want to do your patcher. So you'll double click on that. You change your date, 2010 or whatever year you want. But I wouldn't go past 2010 to be honest. And then just click OK. And all that'll do is update the system so when it starts, it knows you're in 2010. Now there's another zip there, that's the pictures. To be honest, I've not bothered with that. You can do, um, but I've not bothered with it on, on this particular computer that I use. Um, all that is will update some picture archives files, so it'll have modern day pictures. That's that's it. That's all you need. Um, that's from where I installed it. So that is pretty much it. Once you've done that, double click and the game will play. Now, after you've played the game, if uh, for any reason you go to play it again and it says you know you want to load an existing game that you've saved and it says disk isn't inserted, basically all you've got to do, go back to your Magic ISO, right click it into the virtual CD-ROM, mount, hit CM or two, click open, just cancel that off and then as soon as you've done that the computer will, kn will, will know that there is a, there actually is um, a ghost CD there waiting so you can double click it and restore your game and you're away and that's it um, got my email any questions just drop me a message and I'll happily try go through something and post another video on YouTube if you need to thanks